Hi everybody, it's Lisa G again. Let's talk wine. Okay, so I have a long-awaited red wine review today. Hey! Okay, uh, so what I'm doing today is a Cabernet Franc, and that's one of my favorites. It's almost like Junior Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, when I was younger, I was very fond of very big cabs. And um, I found as I've gotten older that those big cabs are no longer good for me. Only because, I guess, you know, it's assaulting me a little bit too much. It dries me out a little too much. So I, I'm pulling back a little from them. Um, so Cab Franc is a great way to have something a little... It's still a big red, okay, but it's, it's a little bit less than Cabernet Sauvignon. So today's Cab Franc is from Con Creek, and that's a Napa, so that's a big fat Napa red. Um, uh, I can honestly say, and I'm, I know I'm going to get a lot of people with their opinion, but again, I am not an expert. I am not a sommelier. This is merely my opinion. That's it nothing else and I have no degrees or anything I'm just calling it as I see it basically I'm not a lover of California wines I'm just not <laughs> I very rarely find a California wine that I like and um, again with the current state of the climate in this country um, foreign wines are getting harder and harder for me to procure in Florida <laughs> so this is what I'm working with, and uh, so I'm going to give it a try. So, it's a beautiful, deep red. Uh, and as you can see, I'm using the appropriate larger balloon glass, so you can get your aeration going on. Typically, what you like to do with these bigger reds is open it up at least an hour before. Uh, if you don't have that time, the greatest thing in the whole world to have is an aerator. Uh, and it, that'll attach right to the bottle and then you could pour the wine and it, and, and it fuses oxygen into the wine. And usually that helps with the big reds to open them up. Anyway, so. Oh, yeah, the nose, that's a big red, yep. So I'm getting a lot of dark fruit. I'm getting a lot of tobacco. Oh. Yeah, a lot of really deep, dark fruit. Heavy tens, I guarantee it. Let me taste it. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a big redder, right? Um... It's, it needs a little time more to open up. I, I, I'm, and I'm thinking the alcohol content is a little bit high for me. Because it has a, I don't quite like the finish. And it's a little heat, a little hot. Um, I don't like burn when I drink wine. And this has a little bit of a burn. So that's probably because it's 14, 15%. I generally like my red wines at 13 or 13 and a half. Um, I've never tried this one before. So it's honestly the first time for me trying it. Blackberry, tobacco, leather. It's very astringent. It's very dry. And I do like dry white, uh, dry red wines. Uh, as I said, I used to really love those really big reds. Uh, not so much anymore. Um, one's palate changes with age. Um, this is by no means a you know, inexpensive bottle. It is, uh, it usually goes for about $30, $35. Um, so it's not inexpensive, but it's not too expensive considering what it is. Napa wines are usually in that price range, if not more. And, um, ooh.
plum, blackberry, tobacco, leather. Yeah. It's, I can honestly say it's not one I'll buy again. Um, I really don't like the finish. That kind of turns me off. Now, for people who like a lingering kind of little burn to the finish, you might like it. I Like I said, when I was younger, this was my kind of wine. Uh, now that I'm older, not so much. Um, but I'm having it with a wonderful steak dinner this evening, and it does go with that. Uh, again, it's, yeah, a lot of plum, a lot of blackberry, a lot of deep flavors. I have to say the tannins are really smooth. Uh, I'm not having a problem with the tannins, but I just don't like that little burn in the end. That's all. If I want burn, I'll drink whiskey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Definitely. Tobacco leather and deep fruit um again I, I again I'm, i probably won't buy it again but if you like something that's really big and heavy and you like that really uh, like dry red finish it's not a bad wine it's just not my particular i just thought i would try it because i do like cab franc but I generally like a French Cab Franc. I like a little bit more mature uh, of a vine. And again, uh, because of what's going on, it's a little bit harder for me to find my usual varieties of wine. But I am having a wonderful steak dinner from the Sea House. That's the letter C, the C house in Tampa, Florida. It's one of my favorites. It just happens to be right near my home. And I love the staff there and they're great. And everything on their menu starts with the letter C. So that's why they call it the C house. And, uh, you know, it's a wonderful dinner. I'm having some beautiful filet with some t potatoes. And they normally do it with uh, carrots. Uh, with asparagus, but I, I have it with carrots because I'm not a lover of asparagus. And they do the most incredible cheesecake. You will not believe how great their cheesecake is. So let me just give you a quick shot of this. Fantastic dinner. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous with a brandy peppercorn sauce and fingerling potatoes? Fantastic. And people... Look at that cheesecake. That, that is turtle cheesecake. So it's literally a brownie on the bottom and cheesecake on the top. And then on the very top of that is salted caramel and chocolate. Oh my God, it's the best thing ever. Okay. So um, they have a fantastic wine list over at the Sea House, too. Please go see them if you're in Tampa or you ever come to town. Um, they're really great. And their staff is quite knowledgeable with wine. So if you're feeling a little lost, they can help guide you. Uh, and they do brunch as well. Uh, and, of course, they do to-go, which is what I do because it's, you know, I'm not feeling too safe about being out at a restaurant right, right now. Not yet. Again, what I'm having tonight is Con Creek Cabernet Franc. And it's a 2014. It's a little young. It probably, it might benefit um, by sitting in the bottle a little longer. Uh, so if you want to buy it and hold on to it. I'm trying to get some reds uh, delivered to me that I'm really, really jazzed about. And, um, and But I wanted to do a red. Uh, for folks who like red, you know, and uh, I find it a little more difficult to drink red in the hot weather, but uh, it does go with what I'm eating tonight. So I said, okay, let's have some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a whole lot of red. Um, yeah, so big, deep dark fruit, blackberry, plum, uh, 
not a lot of residual sweetness it's quite dry so if you like something with a little bit more fruity lightness don't get this uh concrete 2014 cabernet franc great for steaks uh venison um lamb it's awesome with anything like that uh so that's my little report for today I hope I have another one for you really soon. I'm working on it. And uh, everyone stay well and uh, have a great night. Bye.